Today, I'm going to give you some free grunge textures and we'll be messing around with them in Premiere Pro. And what better way to show off these grunge textures than with a sick skateboarding video? Check it out. Okay, so we got these skateboarding clips right here. Yeah, I'm a pretty good skateboarder. I always follow directions real well. First, I'll show you how I did the underlying um, glitch grunge texture. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your free grunge texture pack that I gave you. And we're going to go to this one, the stains on the cement floor, and drag it across the entire clip. And zoom in about... 700. Let's really zoom in there. Set the blend mode to hue. Okay, so now keyframe the position and drag it all the way over into the right until the texture is off the map. Bring the texture back on the map, leave that keyframe, go a couple frames, and drag it all the way over to the left until the texture is gone back so it covers it great okay drag that keyframe to the end and play through now you got your hue glitch transformations happening throughout the whole video it looks really cool when this color so that's one thing you can do with these textures you can do this with any of the textures just set the blend mode to hue really zoom in and scroll it across your screen and when you're done I would save the position as a preset just so you don't have to keep doing that because it's very annoying. Okay, now I'll show you three transitions that you can um, use these textures for. The first one will be a wipe. So grab one of these uh, textures, it doesn't matter which one. This one's good. Have it last 10 frames. Alt, left arrow to nudge over one frame so it's in the middle. Set the blend mode to something dark. I'm going to use linear burn for this. We're going to go to effects, push, make it only last five frames, copy that, and paste it on the other side of the clip. Okay, so now you should have this wipe that goes across the screen. We're not done yet. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to make an adjustment layer. I already have one, so I'm going to drag that on top, drag it out. We're going to do effects, directional blur. Drag that on, direction of 90, keyframe the blur length at the beginning and at the end at zero. Now go to the middle of the wipe and bump that up something about like 200. And we'll watch that back. And there you go, there's a grunge wipe transition. Now for the next transition we're going to do, it's going to be more of a glitchy grunge flash transition. So what I want you to do is grab all these textures. And it'll be about 10, it'll be 10 frames. Drag them in the middle so there's five on both sides. Now what I want you to do is I want you to scale the first one up. Or like 700, it's a good number. Sent the blend mode to you know, whatever you whatever you like. I like darker color for this one. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through each of these clips and you're gonna set them to different blend modes. So maybe we'll, you know, go dark to light. We'll scale this one up, go over to the next one. Now, when you get to the cut, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have something so that the two clips can blend together pretty well. So you want to either have it really bright, like that, or really dark. I'm going to go really bright. Zoom in on this. We'll go over to the next one. We also want this one to be bright. The one on the ends you'll want to have at least somewhat close to what it is without the texture. And we'll watch that back. 
Great, so you got a nice flash glitch grunge transition. And the third transition I'll show you is just an interesting, like either an interesting fade to black or an interesting uh, fade to white. Okay, so what you're gonna do for this one is drag this texture on top, make it last about 20 seconds, scale it way up, set the blend mode to color dodge, excellent. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna move it around until you find a nice place that doesn't look too, too obvious. That looks pretty nice. I'm gonna set the keyframe there at 100. Go to the beginning, set it down to zero, go somewhere around the end and bring it back down to zero. Now let's watch that. So you get a nice, very natural flash of light because it's using the information from the texture. It gives a nice pattern. So there you have it, a bunch of different ways to use these free textures directly in Premiere Pro. Thanks, and have a great day.